Hello everybody, welcome back to American Textbook Reading. I'm Brian Stewart. Well, in this lesson, we're talking about weather. So we're on lesson five, we're talking about the weather. In this lesson, you will discover different types of weather. So if you think about the weather around you, what is the weather like today? We can see many different types of weather. Over here, the weather is very beautiful, it's clear. Over here, oh, this is horrible weather, right? Hopefully the weather is not like this today. It's very windy and rainy. Over here again, this is again very good weather. It's very nice, uh, very calm and clear. Over here, of course, they're having a lot of wind. So there's a lot of different things we can talk about in the weather. Let's talk about different types of weather. The first one, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> It's not the first one. Let me start from here, because I missed this windy. I said it's very nice, beautiful. I should have said it's windy. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Textbook Reading. I'm Brian Stewart. In this lesson, lesson five, we're talking about the weather. In this lesson, you will discover different types of weather. So, what's the weather like today? Look out the window. There are many different types of weather. Hopefully, we have good weather today and usually. But as you can see in these pictures, there's different types of weather. This looks like good weather, but it looks like it's windy. It's windy here. It's also windy here, right? This is not good wind. This is too strong, but it's also rainy. This is horrible weather. I hope the weather is not like this today. I hope the weather is like this. Beautiful weather, very calm, clear skies, sunny. It's a sunny day. Okay, so we're going to talk about different types of weather in this lesson. First though, what is weather? Weather is the conditions of the air outside relating to rain, snow, heat, cold, etc. So that's an important thing. Here we have rain, snow, these two are talking about the conditions. What is happening outside? Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is it windy? Is it sunny? What's happening outside? But weather also talks about the temperature, heat and cold. What is the temperature? Is it hot outside? Is it warm outside? Is it cold outside? So we're talking about two basic things about weather. One is the conditions, the other is the temperature. So one thing we're talking about are conditions. For example, rain, snow, sunny, conditions. We're also, remember, we're also talking about the temperature. 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 That's a long word. Temperature. As you can see, this is a weather forecaster, and she's talking about the different uh, weather conditions in different parts of the country. Looks like this is Britain, okay, England. Okay, so this is weather, and she's a weather forecaster, okay? On the television, you can see what the weather is going to be like by looking at the weather forecast. What is the weather forecast? Okay, what's the weather forecast? What will the weather be like tomorrow, next week, in the future? Okay, let's move on. What kinds of weather are there? Of course, there's sunny weather. When we go to the beach and we play in the ocean, we hope that it's sunny. You have to be careful with sunny weather, though, because sunny means with a lot of sunlight, but a lot of sunlight means your skin can get sunburned. So be careful if you're out on a sunny day. Wear some sunscreen. Let's take a look at a video of a sunny day. Now, of course, these two girls are having a great time in the ocean, looks like. We can see the sunlight. If you look at the waves, you can see all the light reflecting off from the sun. This is a very sunny day. Now, these girls have to be careful, right? They're getting wet. Uh, they could get sunburned. They should put sunscreen on their skin so that they don't get sunburned on a very sunny day. These girls look like they're having a lot of fun, doesn't it? Looks like a, a good thing to do. Go down the ocean and play in the water. Hopefully, if you do this, you will do this on a sunny day. But again, be careful. Wear sunscreen. Protect yourself from the sun. 
If you don't have to worry too much about the sun, you know, sometimes the sky is covered with clouds, and then we say it's a cloudy day. A cloudy. Cloudy means to be covered with a lot of clouds. So this girl, she's, you know, it's still a nice day, right? There's still some sun, but there's also some clouds in the sky. So it's a cloudy day. By the way, you also have to be careful in a cloudy day not getting too much sun because you can still get、uh, sunburnt on a cloudy day. So be careful. But anyway, cloudy day is when clouds are covering most or part of the sky. It's a cloudy day. Let's take a look. Wow. In this video, we can see a really cloudy day, and this is really a good video for showing clouds. See how the clouds change as they're moving. It's not just a cloudy day; it's also a windy day because the wind is moving these clouds very quickly. And you can see that up in the mountains, when you're higher up, you get closer to the clouds. You can see them moving much more quickly. And this is a very good example of very dark clouds moving across. Of course, these dark clouds have a lot of moisture in them. It looks like these are rain clouds. So probably it will rain、uh, if these if there's a lot of these clouds and they get together, and、uh, they it could rain. But all, of course here we can see clear weather also. So these clouds might just be moving through. So it's cloudy. But maybe if they move through and there's no more clouds, then it will become clear. But this is a very windy and cloudy day. Okay, I just talked about windy. We saw in the previous video how the wind is moving the clouds very quickly. Windy, of course, means with a lot of wind. If there's a lot of wind, there's a lot of movement of the air. The air is moving very quickly from one part of the earth to another part of the earth. Okay. And we have very windy days. Sometimes we can use the wind for fun if we want to fly a kite, and that's a lot of fun. These girls are flying, fly, whoops, flying a kite. Okay, so this here is a kite, and on a windy day, you can fly a kite very well. Let's take a look at this boy here. Okay, look at him. Look at how hard he's pulling on that string. Because it's a really, really windy day. That wind is really pulling that kite. Looks like somebody else. We can't see that person, but they're down here somewhere. They have another kite up there. But that's really strong. That boy was really holding on to that rope because it's a very, very windy day. We can say the wind is very strong. Okay, it's a very windy day means there's strong winds. Okay. Now another type of weather. That you may like, maybe you don't like. Personally, I don't like rainy days. Right? If it's rainy, it means there's a lot of rain coming down. Having a lot of rain. Of course, on a rainy day, you should bring an umbrella with you. Now we can talk again about light rain. There, it, there is light rain. That's when just a little bit of rain is coming down. But when a lot of rain comes down, like in the summertime. We say that is heavy rain. Heavy rain. Another way you can say it: How is it raining a lot? And you can say it's not raining a lot. That's light rain. Or yes, it is raining a lot. It's heavy rain. Okay, let's take a look at a video of rain.、Uh, <laughs> this girl is walking along. Now, is it heavy rain or light rain? What do you think? It looks to me like it's heavy rain. Look at all the water. And <laughs> of course, kids, you know, they like to walk in the water.、Uh, moms don't like that. But you know, she was walking through the puddle of the of the、uh, rain. All the rain coming down. There's so much rain. It's making a little stream. And it's a lot of rain. She doesn't seem to be bothered by the rain, right? She's having fun. Most kids have fun walking in the in the rain in the puddles. But this is heavy rain. A lot of rain is coming down. A lot of rain is coming down. It's heavy rain. Okay. Now in the winter time, instead of rain, what comes down? Snow. So in that case, we can say it is snowy. It is snowy. Snowy means to be covered with snow. So if we look at this hill, right? We look at the trees. We can say, ah, it's a snowy day. It's a snowy day. That means that there's a lot of snow out. 
Now, of course, we see this in winter. Now, snow can be fun. These people are having fun in the snow. They're sledding. But snow can also be uh, kind of a, a bothersome thing, especially if you're driving. But you don't have to worry about that. You guys are going to go out and you're going to have fun in the snow, right? Here we have, wow, a lot of snow is coming down. The kids happy, right? Kids are happy when it's snowing or raining. They're not too bothered by it. Mom's like, hey, wait up for me, right? Okay, there's a lot of snow coming down. Just as with rain, we can say light snow or heavy snow. In this case, this is heavy snow. A lot of snow is coming down. It's really snowing. Okay, so we can see that there's a lot of snow here and it's very heavy snow. Now, we have another situation in the weather. We've talked about rain, we've talked about snow, but sometimes you'll notice that the moisture, the water that's coming down from the sky, it's not really rain. It seems to be, you know, a little bit more solid than water, but it's not really snow because it's a little wetter than snow usually is. It's kind of between snow and rain. We call that sleet. Sleet is a mix of rain and snow. Sleet, I really don't like sleet, right? Because it's wet, it's cold, and especially if you're driving or you're walking, it can be very bothersome, right? You really have to bundle up. You have to bundle up. That's a good uh, expression. You have to bundle up means you have to wear a lot of protective clothes. You have to bundle up. It's two words. Bundle up, if, especially if you go out in the sleet. Wear a lot of warm clothes. Wear a hood. Uh, bundle up because sleet is a mix of rain and snow. It's cold and it's wet. It's not good weather. Okay, <clears throat> when we talk about weather, we can use the word observe. When we look at the weather, we are observing weather. When weather forecasters, like that woman we saw at the very beginning on television, she's forecasting the weather, she's giving us a weather forecast, those people observe the weather and they try to figure out what is the weather going to do? Observe means to see or watch something or somebody. This boy, right, he's observing these two big beetles. I think they're really, I think they're really toys. I don't think beetles are that big, okay? But he's observing these two insects very carefully. He's watching them very carefully. Okay, so to observe means to watch something, especially when we watch the weather, we observe the weather. And we kind of guess, what is it going to do today? Is it going to rain? Is it going to snow? Is it going to be sunny? We observe the weather and we make a judgment about the weather. Okay, our next word, last word, is wet. Wet, if you take a look at this boy here, he's, he's, kind, of, he's kind of cute. He's soaking wet, right? He's in his pool here, there's water there. He got water all over his body. Wet means to be covered with water. He's covered with water. Now there's a couple of other things. You see, this water is dripping off of his body. We can say he is dripping, dripping wet. It's two words. So drip means the water is coming off, drip, drip, drip. The water is, he's got so much water on him, he's dripping wet. Now, if you go out in the rain, you don't have an umbrella, you will get dripping wet. You can also say another thing. You are soaking wet. Soaking. Your mom gets angry if you come home and you are soaking wet because you were out in the rain or you were playing in the snow and you got so wet you come home and you're dripping water. Your mom says, oh, you are soaking wet, right? Get your clothes off. Get into a hot bath very quickly because it could, it's not good for your health to be dripping wet or soaking wet if it's cold. He's okay, it's warm out, but if it's cold, that's not good for your health. Okay, let's move on to our chart. As we have seen so far in the vocabulary section, there are many types of weather. We have cloudy weather, when the sky is partly cloud, uh, covered with clouds or completely covered with clouds. So it's either one, partly covered or completely covered. Either way, we say it's cloudy. Another type of uh, weather is windy. That's when there's, the wind is moving, the air is moving very strongly from one place to another. We call that wind. It's very windy outside. It's very windy. 
We also have snowy in the winter time when the moisture comes from the sky and it's so cold that it's freezing, right? It's not rain, it's not water anymore, it's a, like a solid, it's snow and it is snowy outside. Of course, when it's, the water comes down and it is a liquid, we say it's rainy. Remember, we can say heavy rain, light rain, heavy snow, light snow. So we can talk about the degree, how much rain is coming down, how much snow is coming down. Foggy is a word that we did not cover in the vocabulary section, but this describes what happens. Imagine if you went inside of a cloud, right? You cannot see very far, right? Because the moisture in the, in the air around you is so thick that it creates a fog. And this is what fog is. Fog are clouds that come down to the ground, to where we are and they cover the ground and then we cannot see very far. So in some cities, in some parts of the world, it's very foggy very often. And also if you go up into a mountain where the clouds are covering the mountain, it's very foggy at the top of the mountain. The opposite of foggy, of course, is sunny. It's when the sun comes out. Also in the morning, you'll notice in the morning time, sometimes it's very foggy on the ground. The sun comes up it warms up and that moisture goes out of the air and then it becomes sunny. We see that in Korea actually quite often, don't we? In the morning, uh, we might be outside, it's very foggy, but about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning, the sun comes up, it gets warm, and the fog goes away. So that's very interesting to look at foggy as well. Okay, let's take a look at our uh, matching uh, words. We're matching the words to the definition. We've talked about a lot of different weather conditions. Now we need to match those words with the definition. First, number one, with a lot of wind. Of course, this is very simple because we just look at wind. We're looking for a word that means with a lot of wind. If we just add Y to the end of that word, of course, we have windy. With a lot of wind, uh, it means it's windy outside. Number two, to be covered with a lot of clouds. If something is covered with a lot of clouds, like the sky, um, what do we say? It is very cloudy. Of course, these are very simple, right? We have clouds, cloudy. So basically, with the Y, the Y is used to show adjective, right? This is the noun form. Cloud is a noun. Cloudy is the adjective. What is it like? Describing what is something like. Wind is the noun form, windy is the adjective, okay? So a lot of times we just put a Y on the end of our uh, noun and then we come up with an adjective. And this is very common when we talk about the weather. With a lot of sunlight, so there's a lot of sun, right? Sun is our noun, we add Y, but for sun we have a special thing. We have to give it another N and then we put a Y and with a lot of sunlight, it is sunny, okay? So it's a very interesting pattern that we have going on here, especially this is true when we talk about the weather. Number three, having a lot of rain. Rain is our noun, what's our adjective? That's right, rainy, okay. Number five, the conditions of the air outside relating to snow, uh, rain, snow, heat, cold, etc. Remember, we're talking about the conditions right? What's happening and also what is the temperature? We're talking about all of these together. What's our word that, that uh, covers all of these words in a group? That word, of course, we're talking about weather. When we talk about weather, we're talking about what the conditions are, what's happening outside. We're also talking about the temperature. Is it warm, hot, cold, freezing? What is it? Number six, to be covered with snow. Again, we follow our pattern. Snow is our noun. We want to make it an adjective. It is snowy, okay? So snowy, rainy, windy, cloudy. These, all, these words all follow the same pattern, and they're very common, of course, when we talk about the weather. Let's take a look at our chart. Now, when we're talking about weather, there's lots of different types of weather, right? But there's also many different types of wet weather. We saw that there are different types of moisture that comes from the sky. We talked about different types. Let's talk about them right now. These are types of wet weather. So that means some water is coming from the sky. It's not a sunny day, 
right? It's not just a windy day. Water's coming from the sky. Water can come from the sky in many different ways. One way is by rain. Rain, water falling from the clouds in liquid drops. So this is the key right here, liquid. It's not a solid, it's liquid. It's water. Water drops. Drops of water are falling. Of course, you can also hear the word raindrops. Rain drops. You know the song, the famous song? Raindrops keep falling on my head, right? They're talking about raindrops, and that's when it's raining. So drops of water, rain drops are falling from the sky. Now that's rain. That's when it's warm out, right? Or it's not too cold. But when it gets colder, that the, the liquid changes to a solid. But think about the situation where it's cold, but not that cold. It's kind of in between. And that situation, in that situation, we have sleet. Remember, sleet is a mixture. It's a mix. You've got rain and snow. So rain, liquid, and snow, solid, but it's kind of in between. It's kind of mixed. By the way, we could say it's slushy. S-L-U-S-H-Y. And this follows our same pattern. Slush is a noun. That's a mixture. It's kind of when water is between liquid and ice. Imagine some of your favorite drinks, right? Maybe you get a fruit strawberry slushy, right? So you look at the, uh, the strawberry slushy, your drink, you put a straw in it. You can drink some of the liquid, but you drink the liquid, and then the liquid goes away, but you still have ice inside your cup. That is slush. It's slushy. Imagine that is falling from the sky. That is sleet. Okay, let's take a look at a video of sleet. Here we have a, uh, a day. These are two leaves on the ground. You can kind of see the sleet that's coming down. It's, uh, it, you see the little piece of ice that just landed on that leaf? But other places, it looks wet. That's water. So it's kind of a mixture we can see between water and ice. We just saw the last part that it hit there. It's kind of like, it's not really snow, but it's not really rain either. It's, it's, a, it's kind of in between, and that, of course, is sleet. And we can say that this is very slushy. And that's a good word to remember, too, because when we're talking about the condition of the ground, you're walking around, it's slushy outside. So wear good boots, right? Wear something that will keep your feet dry because it's slushy outside. So that's a good word to remember. Okay, moving on, we have snow. Snow is frozen water vapor that falls to the ground. So it's frozen, so it becomes a solid. When something is frozen, it becomes a solid. It's falling to the ground. It's frozen water that is falling to the ground. Snow. Now, we didn't talk about this, but this is an interesting word. Okay, this is another type of wet weather, a blizzard. You guys, pronunciation, blizzard, blizzard. A blizzard is very heavy snowstorm. Remember before I taught you light and heavy. But when snow is falling very heavily and there's also high winds, high winds, very strong winds, that's a special type of weather that we call a blizzard. Blizzards can be dangerous, right? Because you can't see very far. It's very cold because of the high wind. You don't want to be outside without shelter in a blizzard. Okay, let's take a look at a video showing a blizzard. Now this, of course, is at an airport, right? We see an airplane here. The snow is coming down, it's kind of heavy, and you can see, if you look over here where it's dark, you can see the snow is almost going horizontally, almost at an angle. It's going, it's not coming down, it's going across because there's such high winds at this airport. These are blizzard conditions. You can see the machines, they're clearing the snow away from the runway. Now probably this airport will be shut down. Blizzards are not good for transportation. It's very difficult to drive in a blizzard. It's dangerous for pilots to fly a plane in a blizzard. So blizzards usually typically shut down airports and also shut down other forms of transportation as well. Blizzards are troublesome weather. Okay, let's do another exercise here. This is a picture-based exercise. We have two pictures, one and two, showing much different weather conditions. We should choose one of these answers for 
both of these pictures, or one for each picture, right? It's kind of complicated. We have four choices down here. We have two pictures. Let's match one of these choices to this picture and one of these choices to this picture. Taking a look at the first picture, looks like a beautiful day, doesn't it? People are out, they are walking down a street, looks like a tourist destination. Many tourists are out. They're wearing shorts, short sleeve shirts, so it's not cold. This woman here is wearing a bathing suit with shorts, so it's not a cold day. And it seems to be very bright and there's a lot of sun coming down. So what can we say about this picture? Is it foggy? Is it sunny? Is it windy? Or is it snowy? If we take a look at this picture, of course it's not foggy. Foggy would mean there's a lot of clouds we can't see very far. Is it sunny? Yes, it is sunny. So this is the answer right here, B, right? It is sunny. Is it windy? Well, we have to look carefully to see if it's windy. We can look at people's hair. It doesn't seem to be moving so much. We can look at the trees. Now, the tree doesn't seem, it seems to be crooked growing, but this tree seems to be standing straight up. So we can't say it's really windy. More obvious is that it is sunny in this picture. Over here, in this picture, it's a much different situation, isn't it? These poor guys trying to go to work, their clothes are being pushed uh, on their bodies. They're holding umbrellas in front of them to keep the rain off because the rain isn't coming down straight, it's coming at an angle. So in this picture, we can say what? It is very windy, isn't it? It's very, very windy in this picture. Is it foggy? No. Is it sunny? No. Is it snowy? No. It is windy. So this shows an example of bad weather. This is an example of good weather. Good weather is sunny, warm. Bad weather is windy, maybe a little bit cold. Okay, so these are two different, much different weather conditions. Let's take a look at our true false questions. <clears throat> Number one, we talked about sleet before and we talked about a lot, remember? Sleet is a mix of snow and rain. Is that true? Absolutely, that is true. We've talked about a lot. Remember, it's a mix. It's in between. It's not liquid water completely. It's not really frozen uh, snow either. It's kind of between the solid and the liquid stage. It's slushy, right? When it falls down the ground, the ground is slushy. That is sleet. On number two, on a cloudy day, there is a lot of sunlight. Does that make sense? If there are clouds covering the sky, can we see the sun? Maybe we can see the sun a little bit, but it's hard for the sun to go through the clouds. So there's not a lot of sunlight. That is false. So this is not true on a cloudy day because clouds block the sunlight. So there can't be a lot of sunlight. If we changed it on a cloud of day, there isn't a lot of sunlight, then that would be true. But we have to change the sentence, so it's false. Three, weather never changes. That means the weather always stays the same. It's always sunny or it's always rainy. Is that true? Of course it's not true. That's false. One thing about the weather is that it's always changing, right? We can't expect the weather to stay the same all the time. Unless, well, it's true that in some parts of the world, the weather seems to stay the same most of the time, but it will always change. Even if it's sunny, it will eventually rain. It will change eventually. So this is obviously incorrect. Okay, let's take a break here. We're going to go into the reading section after a few minutes. Okay, welcome back. Let's go over the reading section. The reading section, of course, we're talking about the weather. We have our topic sentence here. Weather is the conditions, the conditions of the air outside. So what are the conditions of the air outside? Remember, we can talk about different kinds of weather. There are many different kinds of weather. It can be warm, cool, hot, or cold. In this case, of course, we're talking about the temperature. 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 You guys. Temperature. When we're talking about the temperature, that's one uh, part of the weather that's very important. We want to know, is it hot outside? Should I bring a coat or not? <clears throat> is it cold outside? Is it uh, freezing outside? Should I wear a heavy coat? 
So the temperature, warm, cool, hot, or cold, we're talking about temperature. Another part, we can observe, we can see how the weather changes. So what's happening outside? We can also say, what is the weather like? What is the weather like? Is it raining? Is it sunny? Is it windy? What is the weather like outside? We can look outside. We can observe and see how the weather changes. Because yesterday it could have been sunny, but you wake up the next day, you want to know, is it still sunny or is it raining? Do I need an umbrella? Let's observe the weather and see what it's, what's happening outside. So, sometimes there is snowy weather. On snowy days, the weather is very cold, of course, because for snow, for water to freeze into snow, it has to be cold outside. So on snowy days, the weather is very cold. Sometimes it's not that cold, it's in between. So we have sleet. Remember, sleet is a mix <clears throat> of both snow and rain. The temperature isn't really cold. If it was really cold, it would snow. If it was warm, it would rain. But the temperature is between warm and cold, right? It's so the, the rain that comes down is sleet, okay? It still can be cold, but not freezing cold. The next one, on rainy days, the weather is wet. On rainy days, the weather is wet, obviously. The rainy season occurs between June and July in some places, in the northern hemisphere, also in some other places as well. We have the rainy season that's kind of in the summertime. In Korea, of course, you guys have a very strong rainy season, right? The rain really comes down in June, right? And maybe stops in July. Hopefully it stops in July. Then we can enjoy a sunny summer. On windy days, you have to be careful of the wind, right? Remember the two businessmen walking across the street with their umbrellas? Right? The wind was really pushing their umbrellas and their clothes around their legs as well. You have to be careful of the wind because it might blow you away, right? Especially if a very strong wind comes along, you can be knocked down by the wind. By the way, very, very strong winds cause storms like blizzards, hurricanes, and even some strange uh, weather occurrences like tornadoes. Tornado. Tornado is very strong wind moving in a circle, okay? So tornadoes, yeah, they can blow you away. They're very dangerous. Be careful. Okay. When the weather is cloudy, it could mean that rain is coming. Before it rains, the sky has to become cloudy. Of course, if there are no clouds, there is no rain. Rain comes from clouds. So when the weather is cloudy, it could mean rain is coming. Observe the clouds. If the clouds are dark or black, probably it will rain. Sometimes the weather is beautiful and there is a lot of sun. So no clouds, no rain, just clear skies. We can also say another word here, clear skies. Whoops, clear skies. So if the weather is beautiful, there's a lot of sun, there's no clouds, it's clear skies. Very beautiful, nice weather. This is called sunny weather. It is good for people to play outside. Of course, when, the, when you have clear skies, that's a great day to go outside and enjoy the outdoors. You run, play, take a walk. Uh, if it's windy, you can fly a kite. It's a beautiful day. It has clear skies. Okay, when we talk about the weather, it's very easy to use this reading skill, compare and contrast, because weather changes. You know, sometimes it's rainy, sometimes it's clear, sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold. We can compare and contrast the weather very easily. Now, of course, we can t put a chart up here. We can say, how is the weather alike and how is the weather different? When we talk about alike, we say all weather. All weather is the conditions of the what outside. We have to fill in our blank with one of these words. Changes, air, cloudy, or cold. So what word would go in this blank here? All weather is the conditions of the what outside. Of course, we're looking at these words. We should choose air. 
All weather is the conditions of the air outside. The air outside is the atmosphere, right? What's happening in that air? Is the air cold? Is the air hot? Is uh, it raining in that air, in that space? Is it clear? Is there no rain? So all weather, we're talking about the conditions of the air outside. How is the weather different, right? It can be warm, cool, hot, or what's another one? Warm, cool, hot, we're looking for another temperature here. Changes, air, cloudy, aha, cold. That's our word, warm, cool, hot, or cold. Warm and hot are together, right? Hot is an extreme, it's very hot. Warm is not so much. Hot is an extreme, it's hot, really hot. Warm is lesser, not as much. Cold is another extreme, and then cool is not so much. So warm and cool are kind of in the middle, right? Hot and cold are on extreme, extreme weather. So if we talk about extreme weather, it's very hot, very cold. It's extreme. So these two at the top are extremes, extreme, hot and cold. Extreme weather is very hot, very cold, okay? Okay, so we're talking about that. That's how weather can be different, how the temperature can be different. And of course, we're talking here, we're talking about temperature, temperature. So how can the weather be different? It can be warm, cool, hot, or cold. Temperature. We can also observe how weather, what, changes, air, cloudy, cold. Of course, we're talking about how weather changes. And then we're talking about, remember, I told you before, how, what is happening outside, what's going on. It can be snowy, rainy, windy, beep, or sunny. So what's another thing that we can use to describe what's going on outside? How is it changing? Well, it's cloudy, right? Cloudy. And these are kind of like the conditions or what's happening, what's going on, what is happening. So when we talk about the weather, right, weather has two basic components, two basic components. We can be talking about the temperature. We can also be talking the, about the action, what is happening outside. So temperature, warm, cool, hot, or cold and also action, snowy, rainy, windy, cloudy, or sunny. Okay, so two elements to the weather when we describe the uh, weather and about what's going on outside. Now let's go over our comprehension questions. The first one here is, what is the weather like when it is rainy? When it's rainy, remember water is falling from the sky. So is it dry? No way, because water is falling from the sky, so no, it's not dry. Is it season? Season is not a weather type, right? That's a different part of the year, right? But we don't say, what is the weather like? It is season. That doesn't make sense, right? So that's obviously incorrect. That leaves us with C, which is our correct answer. What is the weather like when it's rainy? Of course, it is wet. It's wet outside. Bring an umbrella or wear rain clothes. Okay, let's move on to number two. On a snowy day, the weather is very what? Here we're talking about temperature. Remember, snow is solid, it's frozen solid. For water to freeze solid, it must be very cold outside, right? That is our answer. Hot? No, that doesn't make sense because the snow would melt, it would be rain. Warm? Again, snow doesn't occur in warm weather. It only occurs in very cold weather. When it's so cold, the water will freeze. So very cold weather. Number three. When it is getting more and more cloudy outside, the clouds are getting more and more, and maybe they're getting darker and darker, what do you think is going to happen? A, rain or snow might fall. B, the rainy season will stop. C, it is the best time to play outside. Let's talk about these. Imagine that. It's getting more and more cloudy. More and more clouds are gathering in the sky. What do you think will happen? A, probably A, right? Rain or snow might fall. Rain or snow might fall. B, the rainy season will stop. That doesn't make sense, right? The rainy season will stop, but more and more clouds are getting together. Besides, just because more and more clouds are getting together, it could, doesn't matter whether it's the rainy season or the dry season. It could still happen in both seasons. C, it is the best time to play outside. No way. 
Your mother would say, no, it's getting more and more cloudy. Stay inside, right? It might rain. You don't want to get wet. So A, of course, is our right answer. On number four, on a very windy day, the wind is very strong. The air is moving very quickly. What happens? A, the weather is very beautiful. B, sleet or snow can never fall. Or C, the wind might blow you away. Remember what we talked about uh, uh, before in a previous slide? We said the weather is very beautiful. Well, it could be. A could be an answer, but what's a more appropriate answer? Sleet or snow can never fall? Well, that's not true. That's obviously not true because sleet or snow can fall, obviously, on windy days. It usually is windy when, it, when there's sleet or snow. So that's not true. C, the wind might blow you away. This is our best answer, right? Because on a very, very windy day, the wind might blow you away, of course. We wouldn't really say the weather is very beautiful because even though if you look outside and say, wow, it's really beautiful because the wind is blowing quickly, if you're outside, you wouldn't think it's beautiful because that's, that's not a good thing. It's not, uh, not something you want. So you wouldn't say the weather is very beautiful. Our best choice there is C, the wind might blow you away on a very, very windy day, so be careful. Let's move on. Here we have our chart. Types of weather. We have been talking about lots of different types of weather. We saw this chart before. Let's put the weather uh, adjectives into the right picture to describe the weather. We use these words to describe the weather. What's the weather like? So here we have a cloud. So it might be cl there might be clouds in the sky. This is very easy, right? Cloud is our noun. What is the weather like? It is cloudy. It is cloudy. Here, we have a picture of a strong wind. So if there's a lot of wind outside, remember, wind is our noun. What is the weather like? It is very windy, windy. Here, we have a snowflake. So this is snow. Snow is our noun. If you see snow outside, you can say it is snowy. It is snowing. Okay, over here, we have rain, a rain cloud, a cloud that rain is coming down. So rain is our noun. What is the weather like? It is rainy. Over here, we have fog, right? This is fog. It's when the cloud comes down to the ground or we go up in the mountains inside the cloud. We can't see very far. We call that fog. The noun is fog. The weather is foggy. Finally, we have the sun. When the sun's out, there aren't any clouds in the sky. There's a lot of sunlight coming down. We say that it is sunny. Okay, so lots of different types of weather. After studying this lesson, you can go outside. You can say very easily what the weather is like outside. Remember, you can talk about temperature, hot, cold, warm, cool. We can also talk about what's happening. What is the action? Is it cloudy? Is it windy? Is it snowy? Is it rainy? Is it foggy? Is it sunny? What's going on outside? So, hopefully it's a good weather outside. If it is, go outside and enjoy yourself. If it's bad weather, stay inside. Study some more. Okay, well, we'll see you next time. Take care.